are here at the Dunellen Airport in Florida where I've stumbled across an aircraft that I know very, very well from back to near its history, but this was way out on the West Coast for a number of years now with another gentleman who operated the construction and building and supply of these airplanes. This is called the Dragonfly. I'm Dan Johnson and I'm talking with Randy uh, Dorsey who has now brought this airplane I'm going to say back home because yes, this started in Florida. Yes, sir. And I didn't even know that. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> well, so, prior to, yeah. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about yourself first, how you're in aviation, uh, yes, briefly. Sir. And then we, I want to get into the airplane and what, you, what you've done with it now and what the plans are and some things like that, Randy. Okay. So started in aviation right here. Um, I got to paint all the logos on, on the airfield here. There you go. And in the process of doing so, I was able to barter a logo for some flight time and got my pilot license and the desire is to put some missionary pilots back in the sky ah so started looking around we got a 172 we put eight students now in the you know from All right and you're, you're helping with the training of those people yes sir beautiful now i haven't got my cfi yet so i'm just providing you're, you're making it happen yes, though yeah yeah um and then in the process i realized that there was a shortage of a and p's and I found that out because I was having to wait for repairs to be done to the plane. So then somebody said, Nick Jones told me, hey, why don't you just get your LSRM and then you can get a light sport and then you can maintain it. And I was like, that's a really good idea. So I got a hold of the carpenters, went up there and did my LSRM and- Rainbow Aviation Services. Yeah. Yes, sir, Rainbow Aviation. And then when I got done with that, I went to Lockwood Aviation and got my Rotax certifications. So then I started looking for a light sport airplane that I could actually do what I was desiring to do with. And in the process, that's when I found the Dragonfly. And really the rest is, I mean, it's, 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 it's a wild story, but we went out to California, looked over the company. Um, the Lord saw fit for us to be able to steward over it. And we brought it from California to here. And that school bus over there. Ah, I see a school bus around behind the hangar door there. Yeah. And um, that's how you got all the stuff here. That's how we got it here. <laughs> and Bobby was even amazed. Like, how, how did you do that? <laughs> the Bobby is the designer of the airplane. Yes. Unfortunately, I had a sad point of the story is we lost Bobby recently. But uh, Bobby Bailey originated this design oh, more than 30 years ago. Yes. And you told me there are 154 of these flying. Yes, sir. Now, to some people, that might not sound like such a huge number, but this is a very specialized aircraft. What's it for? It was originally designed for towing hand gliders. And Bobby, that, that was his vision for it. Um, Bill Moyes had got towed behind a plane, and they were... <laughs> scared, the, scared something out of them, I'm yes, guessing. Sir. Yes, sir. So, <laughs> too fast. So, they, yeah, way too fast. And, you know, they were trying to speed hand gliders up, possibly. And from my understanding, Bobby was like, no, we need to slow the plane down. Well, how do we do that without the plane falling out of the sky? How do we slow it down enough without it falling out of the sky? And that's what Bobby set out to do with this. The flapper runs that you see, a lot of, we got, at Sun and Fun, we were asked a lot, why are those look like they were an afterthought? Yeah, yeah, it looks, looks like they kind of got tagged on, like, hey, yeah. it doesn't fly right, we better yeah. add something. And that wasn't Not the case so, at all. No. Now, those, you, those are wider on the tug planes um, because those still work in a stalled configuration. So when you lose lift, those will still turn the airplane. They, you still got ailerons. Um, and that's why Bobby did it like that. So when they're slow flying. And we're talking slow like 30, 35 miles an hour is all the faster they want to go. That's and it. And they're pulling. Right. And, they've got, and they're pulling a pretty good load behind them yes, on sir. about a 200 foot tether. Yeah. And, and sometimes that has two people on yes, that sir. aircraft. In fact, frequently it does. Yep. So yeah, that's, this is, I call this a tractor. It is. It is a real workhorse. It is. And then when Ed came along, this, is Ed, Ed, saw, this is Ed Pittman Ed now. Ed Pittman, yes sir, Ed Pittman. When he came along, he had a vision of going outside of the hand gliding community. Ah, okay. So Bobby's vision was hand gliding, and Ed came along and said, we can do more than just hand gliding. And he's like, we can, we can make it a rancher. And it is a fun plane to fly across the farms with. I can tell you, we got some farms up here and we go flying up there. But you can crop dust with it, or you can go out and just check the herd. Or you can go out and make sure the coyotes. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I, the, I'm waiting for the boys in Texas to really find out about the dragonfly. Well, for that kind of uh, what I'll call local use, mm -hmm. you're not going to, well, you could fly this to California, but it'd yes. take, take you a long time. 
Because as I recall, like the max dive speed on is about 55. I mean, yeah. bury the stick and with the power on, you just can't yeah. go very fast. Because yeah. that's what it was made to do. Correct. But boy, it's got to be a joy to go do that kind of uh, what I'll call aerial surveying, yes, perhaps. Sir. Yes, sir. Please continue. Yeah, um, and there was a guy actually that flew it from California. So Somebody he, with extra time on his hands, I'm he, thinking. <laughs> he, yeah, he converted the spray tank to a fuel tank and flew it from California. He's down at Wallaby. Ah, no kidding. Yeah, oh, good the, for him. I can't remember his name right now, but yeah, he did. He flew it back. Well, that's fascinating. Um, so it, obviously, it can be yes. done, but that's not its main mission. No, but the beautiful thing is, is as a rancher, somebody who has a farm can buy it, and it can be a tax write-off as a piece of sure. farm equipment. That was something that Ed did do. He got it to where you could buy it as a piece of farm equipment, like an ag tractor, like like any other, you know. Excellent. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Um, and then we're hoping Mosaic is talking about changing it to where we can use this to pull banners. You should be able to. Uh, uh, more than that. Yes, sir. You'll be able to do lots of stuff. Now, yes. you'll have to jump through some more hoops for oh, that. Oh, yeah. Everybody who makes airplanes, not just you. Yes, sir. They'll all have to prove some additional things. Yes, sir. And you'll have to have a commercial probably and some other stuff. But, but that's okay. The airplane yep. is capable of some other Very missions. capable. Yes, sir. So yep. what's your plans with it now, Randy? Is you the just, same You're thing. just kind of getting geared up now, right? When yep. did you take over? Uh, December. Okay, so this is this is a 2024 project, basically. Yes, sir. Yes, well, sir. It is. First of all, congratulations and thank you for bringing it back to Florida. But what do you plan to do with it now? Tell me what your plans to, are. To produce them right here, um, we do plan to do that. Uh, we got we brought a lot of traceable parts from California. Okay. Um, we do have some kits available. Um, we have already pretty much got everybody in supply chain back on board. Um, we are we are in touch with Mr. Moise's daughter over in Australia. Uh, our sales are being made right here as well, so we have two options for sales. Um, and everybody else, as far as supply chain, is pretty much back on board. So we're, we're looking at going back into production really soon, Lord willing. Excellent. Yeah. Well, there are at least three air parks in Florida alone, I yes, know, sir. that depend heavily on this. Yes, I mean, use them day in and day out, all day long, yeah. when it's a good day anyway. And I'm sure they're going, oh, good, somebody brought this yes. thing back. Cause they're all yeah, we, running their business. They don't have time to do that and as we, well. We've had other air parks that have reached out to us. I'm sure. Um, but having just got it here and getting things set up, we still, in all honesty, haven't done a, a, a full forensic like inventory of what we have. And everybody's asking me for parts. <laughs> so I've been, I have given some parts to some of these clubs that have planes that they've been wanting to fly for the last two yeah, years. Yeah, they've got a grounded airplane. You're a savior to them, yeah. And, and so we have done that because we don't know yet, you know. Um, so when we have all that online, everything, if they go to baileymoysdragonfly.com, if they do that, as we get everything updated, it's going daily, we're making updates Beautiful. to it. Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. good for you, Randy. Well, best of luck with that. We want to come back here and investigate later once you're all up and running and yes, things sir. are going out the door, but you kept a very important bird. I'm an old hang glider guy yes, for sir. many, many years. Yes, so to me, this is one of the most important airplanes on earth. Mm -hmm. For that purpose, it's singular. And yes, sir. I'm so glad you've got it going again. It's a shame we lost Ed, too, but uh, those things happen. And uh, now it's alive and well in Florida under Randy Dorsey's leadership. What website shall we send people at? Tell us one more time. BaileyMoysDragonfly.com. It was always known as the Bailey Moyes Dragonfly, and we're going to keep it just like Bobby that. Bobby Bailey, Bill Moyes. Yes, sir. And Dragonfly because it drags someone into the air so they can fly. There you go. If you can't remember all that now. And if you ain't Dragonflying, <laughs> you're not flying. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. Thanks yeah. for talking to us here. Yes, Best of luck with this. And uh, I'm sure we'll hear more about Dragonfly. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you.